Hi, I'm Bear Grylls, and today we're here exploring in India. We're here to talk to the natives, look at some of the landforms, climb the craziest mountains, and go see what's happening with all this water pollution. Come with me, and we'll venture out in India together to go see all the water problems. Sir, sir, you're what are you doing? <laughs> that water's so polluted. Your country's so polluted. Come with me and you can help me. Don't drink that water, sir. You will die a slow, painful death from that polluted water. Our internal solder is going off. Sadly, our cameraman have been eaten by plastic crocodiles made of pressed plastic bottles. Sadly, we need to do this alone. Just as you need oxygen to live, to live, so do fish and other organisms that live in lakes and streams. The oxygen dissolved in water is called dissolved oxygen, or DO. D the levels of DO that are below 4.0 milligrams in fresh water can cause stress and possibility of death to four organisms in the water. Pollutants cause pollutants such as sewage, fertilizer runoff, and animal waste decrease DO levels. Temperature oxygen temperature changes also affect DO, DO levels. For example, cold water holds more oxygen than warm water does. Co facilities such as nuclear power plants can increase the temperature of lakes and rivers when they when they use when they use the water as a cooling agent. Such as in water temperatures is called thermal pollution, which causes increases decrease in DO levels. Excuse me, sir. Do you know about conservation? No. Uh, no? Why not? No. no. Sir, are you no. meant to do Are you interested in learning? No. Why? <laughs> sir, you can save money. Sir, I'm you can save key. energy. I'm you can save your key. life. Sir, I need please water. don't pollute the local I'm rivers. I'm going to die, sir. I need water. I'm there are two types of pollution. Okay, I'm going to try to explain this too slowly. This is an example of good pollution, you're making humus here, this animal will die and create humus in your soil. Hello little children, can I talk to you about some pollution? Oh, hello sir, hello. Hello, children, children, yeah. did you know that, well, you're playing leaf frog, correct? Oh, yeah, well, did you know that all those froggies in the river can die you because of you? <laughs> Really? Yeah, you gotta keep your river safe. No non point yeah, solution. Yeah. Just so, what about that with crisis? <laughs> what? It's a crisis? Very yeah, big crisis. Crisis? No, okay, listen. There are nitrates. I'll tell you a little bit about nitrates. So, the nitrates in the river, if they get too high, they can kill all the organisms like your. Then leapfrog will leave the world one day. You can't play leapfrog anymore. But we're not gonna die. Oh yeah. yeah. But eventually die, son. Okay, you understand now? I understand. Hey, excuse me, sir. Um, you know I can't help but notice how you're polluting your rivers right now. Um, you you realize that you just yeah. Are you okay? I can't help but notice that you're throwing stuff into the river. Um. Why are you throwing stuff in the river? Why are you doing that, sir? I don't like water! Why don't you How do you not like water? You need it to live. Sir, do you know about point source solution? The non-point non -point source solution? Obviously not. If you're doing stuff directly into the river, it's point source solution. And non-point source you can't just do that, because you're going to kill your water, you're going to kill your wife, you're going to kill your life. Come on. Non-point spore solution is when multiple places are doing all this pollution. And it's hard to figure out where it's coming from. So, try your best to save your water right now. Okay, um, a few seconds ago I decided that I could not record any more stuff because it's kind of dark. So, I decided to do a speed art instead to make the video more festive and awesome. So, I hope you all enjoy the speed art while I talk over with, um, with, um, with some fun facts and stuff, yeah? Sewage treatment plants are, is a facility 
is it a sewage treatment plant is a facility that cleans waste water waste materials found in water that comes from sewers or drains the ogallala aquifer is part of the uh, high plains aquifer system in the vast shallow shallow underground water table aquifer located beneath the Great Plains in the United States. One of the largest, world's largest aquifers and covers an area of approximately 174,000 miles or in proportions of the United States, South Dakota, uh, yeah, of the eight states of South Dakota, Nebraska, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Texas. It was named in 1898 by N.H. Darton from its the type locality for near the town of Ogallala, Nebraska. About 27% of the irrigated land in the United States overlies the aquifer system, which yields about 30% of the, of the nation's groundwater used for irrigation. In uh, addition, the aquifer system provides drinking water to 82% of the people who live in the, within the aquifer boundary. Actually, what you may not have known, where, way back where Bear Grylls lived, he lived where this place is. Well, yes, he lives where this place is. That's a cool fun fact. I hope you all enjoyed that. One thing that we as humans always need to note is that though we use natural resources more rapidly than they are created by the Earth. So, to, in order to conserve this, we need to turn off our water, conserve energy, and like use less coal, like make make uh, hoover dams, things like that, like, so it creates electricity with water and power and creates, yeah, so we don't have to use coal, which is actually a pretty valuable resource. No offense, coal. Um, well, no, that's actually a good thing, but still, but still, stand to the point. Um, we need to keep our world, as God intended it, full of resources for the people that live, so people just don't die out when they're born, and, um, in India... Uh, here's another fun fact. Um, uh, the average child under five years old dies from uh, water-related issues. So um, uh, there are a couple foundations and places you can donate to to uh, help a cause, but uh, I don't really know any. If you live in an area that does not have a sewage treatment plan, your house probably has, uses a septic tank. And figure four shows an example of a septic tank. A septic tank is a large underground tank that cleans wastewater from a household. Wastewater flows from the bottom... From the house into a tank where solids stink, where solids sink to the bottom. Um, an example of that solid is poop. Yeah, everybody uses that. It's natural. Don't worry. Bacteria break down these wastes and on the bottom of the tank. The the water flows from the bottom of the tank. Wait, no, no, from the tank to the group of buried pipes. When the t then the pipes called a drain field distribute the water. Distributing the water enables the water to soak into the ground. Alkalinity refers to refers to the water's ability to neutralize acid. Acid rain, rain and other acid waste can harm aquatic life. A pH below 6.0 is too acidic for most aquatic life. Water is acid. Water with a higher alkalinity is can better to protect organisms from acid. It's important to note that we need to keep our environment given to us by God clean, safe, and like good and um in order to do this we need to recycle um feed children who do not have water and just like help out each other and band together to have our own like armory to fight pollution remember on the only thing that the earth cannot handle is made by human thank you guys for watching and as always stay snazzy i'll see you guys later Popular's all I really wanted to be Showing off in halls, hoping everyone would see And it seemed all I cared about was popularity Acting out, being stupid, even dabble with It's right, and the nitrates have to <laughs>